Hello there, Lee. Welcome to Fresh. I'm JT Foliaki. And I'm Dimitri Shistakolo Matangi. And Fresh is coming to you from Sate Okolani. We have new movie coming out. Kia ora. Make sure that you stay tuned in because very soon we'll be talking to you about our new film, Red, White and Brass. But for now, let's see what's on the show today. <laughs> ah! I don't know if I wanted to be a performer. I just wanted to be like whoever I was and what how best for me. For the Tongan community, I would love they can just see how bomb it is to be Tongan. Yorana, welcome to How Fresh Are You? I love the dads are like... Hello, Lele. My name is Dimitri Shustakoloa Matangi. My name is John Pofoliaki. My name is Eli Sane Green. Susie Kato here. My name is Damon Pipoliaki. What's up? My name is Halefo Nuafino, and I'm one of the co writers and producers of this amazing film, Red, White, and Brass. We're here at the Auckland premiere. Keep it fresh! Keep it fresh! Keep it fresh! <laughs> Yeah, I'm just excited to share the movie finally. It's been in the works for a while now. Been holding all of the excitement in for a long time. I think I'm really just excited to see all the family come together. Oh man, I'm real, real nervous. This film hits different because first of all, it's my, my story. My brother's in it, my cousins, my church, my mum and dad, my community. Red, White and Brass, it's a Kiwi Tongan film. From my viewpoint, it was like the exploration of what it is that makes Tongans the way they are. When we were making the film, we wanted everything to be as real as possible for a Pacific audience. I think this is one of the films that really showcased what it's like growing up in New Zealand as a Tongan. So it has that like Tongan humour. Islanders will get it. People can actually see what Tongans are like and the whole mafananess and the whole extra extra of our people. For me as a, a Tongan, it's pretty special and to, to be able to showcase what we can produce as Pacifica people on the big stage, you know, based on the true story, what they did to, to actually get, get into the game. To be able to do something kind of at this scale and for our, our young cast to come in and see someone that looks like them, that talks like them and comes from the same world, man, you can't really put that into words. Very special, you know, getting to represent our culture. With brown faces, brown stories, we love that. Can't be what you can't see, so hopefully, yeah, we can inspire some young Polynesians. As part of our culture, the whole brass band, we have it in church, we have it for funerals, weddings, and look, for the premiere now. It's important as a Tongan to come and support Tongan storytelling. And as you can see, Tongan flags are everywhere. It's a special occasion, so that's why we go all out. We dress all out. This is the Pospika suit and tie right here. It's kind of the dream of what all of the, the Polynesians before me had, you know, that one day we'll be able to do something like this. Our kids are going to be growing up and seeing those movies. They can tell them, like what the Tongan can, can do in the well, even though like uh, we came from a small island. An honor to see this happening to our Pacific Island people. When it comes to Tongan, they will make anything happen. If there is a will, there is a way. We love really hard and anything that we know that our people can do or have the potential to do, we, we support that 100%. Whatever they're putting in the otai, that's what gets them level 100 eh? My hopes for this film is that for Tongans, it makes them proud to be Tongan. For non-Tongans, I hope they leave this film wishing they were Tongan. <laughs> this is Tongan ingenuity at its finest. Smiling from chick to chick, I really loved it. As a brown person in Aotearoa, it made me really proud. I like the hustle. They, they just kept on going and going. I definitely felt the, the mafananess of the whole movie and I loved it. Nailed the comedy, nailed the heart, you know, and that's going to stay with us forever. <laughs> Do you think you can do better? All right, thanks, Bonnie. Kia ora and half a day. I'm the Western Guide. And I'm Rikishi. This is actually Sam V, and this is also Ask, Ask Microman. Ask Microman is where you ask questions about issues regarding our community, and me and Sam attempt to answer them. 
Today, we shall unpack the thin line between an influencer versus being influential. Two very different things. An influencer, someone who exists online and has a massive following, as opposed to someone who's influential, who has the ability to create change. Today, we will be doing some embroidery, uh, also known in Samoan as Fai Loko. Fai Loko. As we uh, attempt to answer your questions. Western guide, would you say that you are an influencer or influential? Neither. I think I am known to a certain community of people that doesn't exactly make me an influencer or influential. He makes corny things. TikToks, you're an influencer. You sound jealous. And they get views. You sound jealous, bro. I'm not jealous, I'm just projecting. Yeah, do you reckon you're influential or an influencer? I think I can be influential, but we're, uh, we're navigating those waters. We're figuring it out. We are indeed. Western guy, is being an influencer a real job? Do you know what it is? It really is. I know some influencers who get paid money to post videos, to make content. But it's just a modern job and people have to adapt and adjust with the, with the times. I don't know if I want to encourage being an influencer. Don't try to become an influencer, just try to be yourself on the internet and just make content and yes. things and see what happens. We're going to Instagram now for some questions from our millions and thousands and hundreds of fans. First question from there. What challenges as Pacific men in the digital space have you experienced, Sam? Someone's called me out for cultural appropriating because I make R&B music, but it's just being aware that the internet is just a cesspit of everything. Toxicity, negative people, positive people. Be wary of what you're posting. Do influencers really act the same off camera? Sometimes, depends on the person. You've got people like um, just the norms, Regan. And I, I'd say what you see on camera is what you get. He's, he's a clown on his content and he's a clown in the flesh. He's just a funny dude. The Western Guide is a pest online and he's, he's a pest offline. <laughs> Do you feel that Polynesian influencers should be using the platforms that they have, that they possess, to advocate for issues uh, pertaining to our communities? It really depends on the kind of content that you create. Some people shouldn't advocate because they don't, they don't understand enough because what's the point of being like, let's change this. And they'll be like, what do you want it to change? Oh, I don't know, just it's because it's cool right now. So what do you think? That's on you because it's your platform. It's your brand. Mm -hmm. So we've come to the end of our questions and it's time for us to rate each other's embroidery. 10 out of 10. Three, two, wow. Wow. Um, I rate this a very, very high, 0 0.25. It just sucks, look at it. I can't even read what it says. 682 to the world, baby. It's like a six out of 10. Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't mind it. I feel like your rating for me was harsh because my, my art is always avant-garde. Do you know what that means? If you look closely, he did not go over any single line <laughs> on the given pictures. We're yeah. meant to be doing flowers. I do and, my own uh, thing, like a true creative. We'll see you next week for another episode of Ask Micro Men. Can you fix me up, please? <laughs> it's funny, eh? Cause like lots of people are like, you should cut your hair, cut your hair, like it's ugly, it looks messy. And I'm like, sorry. <laughs> Brother, you need to go watch Red, White and Brass. Be there. <laughs> Malo Lele, I'm JP Foliaki, and today I'm going to show you a bit of my world. Tawo, let's go! I don't know if I wanted to be a performer. I just wanted to be like whoever I was and not how it faced for me. I think my dream is just to get the opportunity to be able to show the talents that God has blessed me with. Oh. On the biggest stage possible. Oh, uh, Rick, can you come fix me up, please? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, for something wrong, this is Lokes. Hit her up, Lokes Braids on Instagram if you want to look black. She's already ready, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, the movie's coming out soon. I'm very fortunate to have been given that opportunity so I can show my family. Like, this is what I'm trying to do, and this is why you made those sacrifices. Man, sucks. Red, white, and brass is based on a true story. I play Maka, a young tone male. Maka, what have you done to my house? Surprise, my man! We're gonna show our pride to the world! 
he wants to get tickets to go and watch Tonga play France at the Rugby World Cup. Can we get some tickets to the game, please? You really should have lined up yesterday like everyone else. There's still a way we can get tickets. We've got a marching band and we could perform at the game. Ignore my son, he's an idiot. Mm -hmm. Is this supposed to be a brass band or a plastic band? This is Tongan ingenuity at its finest. Good. Oh. You think you can do better? The themes that come with the movie are, are universal themes, you know? It's about having limited resources and falling together as a community to reach an end goal. It's about uh, believing in yourself. It's funny, eh? Because like lots of people are like, you should cut your hair, cut your hair, like it's ugly, it looks messy. And I'm like, sorry? I literally saw a movie character description and they're looking for someone with an effort. It's just obviously hard to maintain. Well, I haven't had an effort since I was probably in intermediate school. I started growing it up because I was at a point in my life where I was kind of like just trying to do my own thing and be proud of like whoever I am and whatever that means. And part of that meant like showing my natural hair. I probably get my hair braided once every few months, but it depends. If I've got something coming up, then I'll get it braided. I definitely think that my hair's helped me land some roles. Not only is it bomb, it's beautiful, it's cool because it takes a lot for, for someone to not only rock an effort, but you have to have a certain level of confidence. It gives the person character, there's history in it, it's a story in itself. I'm like, your grandma had an afro, my grandma had an afro, let's stop telling lies. <laughs> After I finished high school, I went to uni and I studied uh, Bachelor of Law and Arts. I wasn't absolutely sure that law was the thing that I wanted to do, but I knew that I liked helping on community and that there was a need for more Pacific lawyers. It was a honey when I made up my mind I'ma leave this town, now you saying goodbye I started to get more involved in different creative things like whether that was singing or performing or making videos with my friends and I started to remember like how much I love doing that kind of stuff in the creative space and then I finally had that conversation with my parents You know, you think that you owe it to your family to honour their sacrifices They just told me like at the end of the day sometimes you have to fight for it Makes it that much more special if you're pursuing something that you're really passionate about because that's the whole reason why they came here, you know? And I stuck there before I start praying. When I read the character description, it was quicker because I was like, wow, all the qualities that people told me that I need to just relax a little bit and to not be so out there, not be so loud and not be so proud. And those are all the characteristics that Maka had. And at the end of the day, those are the characteristics that landed me the role. So moral of the story is, be yourself you might end up on a movie. Tongans have this thing that we call my fun, and I think everyone has it. It's a state of being and it's a feeling. Literally, it means warmth, that overwhelming feeling of joy, happiness, pride, like all in a melting pot together. When you're feeling mafana, it means that you've reached like the ultimate peak and it's something that we can all embrace. There's so many things that I hope people can take away from a movie. One of the main ones really is being able to have a dream. For the Tongan community, I would hope and I would love if they can just see how bomb it is to be Tongan and the values that we have and the values that our parents have instilled in us, but also being your authentic self today in 2023, what does that look like? You can be an obedient son, you can be a respectful daughter, but at the end of the day, who is it that you want to be and what are the goals that you have? I'm JP Foliaki and I'm keeping it fresh in South Auckland. <laughs> JP, being a local of South Auckland, where would you say the best place to get fish and chips from right South here. Auckland is? Right here. Mm -hmm. Right here, right now. So what, your shop? Didn't you already order? I have no money. You think I have money? I could barely buy this flag. Did you bring a guitar? Hurry up, let's start busking right now. <sighs> Don't go anywhere, because after the break, our duck rockers Ainga will go head to head. And how fresh are you? Uber driver. From Wish, let's go.
Ash, are you? Today, we have got the Duck Rockers and their dads versus each other. I'm Danny Fennessy. I'm going to be your quiz master for today, but let's meet our teams. To my right, we've got Lilo and we've got Ma'a. We, we are, are the team Falangi. Nice. And can you tell us what Falangi means, please? Falangi means French. Is that because you're representing mum, right? Mm -hmm. oh. The better half. Okay, now to my left, we've got Dallas and we have got Chris. We are I mean machines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, let's get into our very first game. This one is called Rapid Fire. I'm going to read a list of questions. If you know the answer, buzz through. The team to get the most correct, you win. Cool? Yes. First question. Next goal wins is an upcoming sports comedy drama film directed by Taika Waititi about what sport? Just like throw some sports out there, I reckon. Football, soccer. And that is correct. Point on the board. Falangis, OK. <laughs> Please name one of the radio hosts of New FM's The Morning Shack. How? Oh my gosh, I lost ah, I a sad. Think you're going to be watching this and they're going to be like, nah, stay. You should know one of them. Anika Moore? <laughs> That's flavour. So wrong radio station. Flick it over a bit. The, the, the girl. No, there's no girl on the show. That's sad, but OK. <laughs> Who was on your guy's show? Regan? Yes! Oh! Two on the board over here. Singer Normani was in a girl group with what Tongan artist? She's a, it's a girl group, so it's another, another female. I love the dad's like... I'm gone. She's got two names. The last one is Jane. Dinah Jane. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, You're going to give me the whole answers out here. <laughs> Ortia is the dance of what island nation? You guys, it's like kind of close to like... Tahiti. That is correct. Oh, That's oh, correct. Oh, okay, Meme Machine, come on. Who was named New Zealand's local hero of the year? Lilo Vaingafa. Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh, oh, my community. <laughs> you can have a half point for that. What do you got, Meme Machine? Dave Dobbin. No, but that first name is right. Bada bing. That is correct, thank you. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Okay, next. Nuclear testing was conducted in the Marshall Islands by what country? Uh, America. That's correct. Ooh. America! What on the board for you guys? Oh, one point, finally. Yeah, thank you. We left that one for you guys. Well, well deserved, you know. You guys needed it. Congratulations, the Falangis. Now it is time for our next game, Guess the Emoji. Each team is going to have a turn at guessing what the TV show or the movie is, and all of them have Pacific people in them, OK? Sweet. OK. Hey. Three, two, one. Oh, my gosh. Skip. OK. Um, Sweet Tooth. Correct. Lilo and Stitch. Um, Aquaman. Come on, Dad. Duck Rockers! Hey! <laughs> you going good? You going good? Um, Polynesian Panthers. Half that. Po Not the Panthers? Oh, the Panthers. No, skip. Ten seconds. Uh, dra huh? Um, huh? Oh, dragon. Oh, one, three, two, one. <laughs> what is Game of Thrones? Oh! And if you were wondering, the alien, that's actually Avatar. That was good effort though, congratulations. Yeah. Now, the Me Machines, it is time for your redemption. Uh, you need to beat five. You've got 60 seconds on the clock. That starts now. Whoa, skip. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Fine, bear. Close, a little bit. Oh, skip. Just remember, they, uh, they have Pacific people on them TV shows and movies. Baby Rock. <laughs> Close. What's the, what's the TV show? Baby Sitter. It's, it's not Baby Rock, but it's... Um, Tooth Fairy. Oh, my God. I don't know. Skip. Yeah. Okay. Sione's Sione 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 Thank you very much. Come on. Lightning. Shazam. Um, I mean, Black Adam. Yes. Oh. What's worse? Yes. Oh, oh, there we go. Coming through. Twin Peaks. This one's got Jason Momoa in it. It's a TV series. Skip. Skip. 
What's your favorite? No, but... Roger. 10 seconds. A movie. <laughs> Taika Waititi directed it. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Jojo Rabbit! Oh, my Jojo Rabbit. This one was C. That one was Hunt for the Wilder People. And this is Young Rock. I think we're safe to say our winners are the Falangis. Congratulations. <laughs> but that's okay because no one goes home empty handed here. So here you go, guys. You can have some shirts. And of course, our winners over here. You are eyeing those up, eh? She was just like, I really want a shirt. GG's. Good game. Yeah, good game. GG's. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode. And we will catch you next time on How Fresh Are You? You want a race, brother? You want yeah, let's, <laughs> go let's go let's go, let's go, let's go. What's that for? Oh, what's it? You know what? <laughs> Don't worry about music and parts. <laughs> Don't worry about red, white and brass. Yeah. You, you need to tell everyone to go and watch it as well. Watch it. Mm -hmm. Best movie ever. Better than the Oscars. I couldn't watch the Oscars for seven movies. I can watch this easy. <laughs> yes, sir. Marlo Opita for hanging with us on the most beautiful side of Auckland City. Mm-hmm. Make sure you go and check out Red, White and Brass. Be there or be square. And make sure to keep it fresh. Avatu. Avatu. You got supernatural power. Keeping it fresh. What DC superhero does The Rock play? Brown Adam? Black Adam. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. I've never heard of anything like this. So to see this representation was just life-changing for me. Yeah.